Mm. Solar power. We use the sun to generate the energy to cool our buildings with AC. But what if we could use the opposite of solar to cool our buildings? Outer space. Prepare to have your mind blown. Coming up in another virtually Rick. Oh. So right, I'm still on Earth. It's called radiative sky cooling, and it's a natural process that happens every day. The sun heats up buildings and also the ground at our feet, but when nighttime comes, that heat or infrared radiation rises back up and out into the cold depths of space, especially if there aren't any clouds or moisture to keep it from leaving. Imagine this building has fluid in the walls, like blood in our veins. After a hot day, the fluid in the building absorbs the heat in the walls and is pumped up to the roof to solar panels, where the heat in the liquid escapes out to the night sky. Then the cooled liquid is pumped back, circulating through the building, cooling it down. The result being the building will stay cooler for longer the next day and will need less air conditioning to keep it cool. And scientists have already created a plastic film that does something even cooler. By reflecting the sun's rays with a coating that also reflects the infrared heat of the sun, whatever the film covers, like this hot potato, it essentially acts as a night window, drawing the heat out of the object below it, even during the day, and without requiring electricity. So cool! And now I'm hungry. Get off! Get off! So this way, buildings, objects, cars, all sorts of things can be cooled in broad daylight. There are even cleverer ideas to use this material as a way to generate electricity as well. Which means that in the future, we could all very well be cutting our AC bills. The battle is on to reduce the impacts of global warming, especially when it's anticipated that by 2050, demand for air conditioning is expected to triple. But in future, with this simple and relatively inexpensive technology, we could be using the sun to cool us all down.